Hello and welcome to House and Home Chat Real Estate Real Talk with Dina and Chris. I'm Dina Mathis and I'm Chris Breitenbach. Hey, today we are coming to you from the heart of Cincinnati itself. We are at Fountain Square and the reason for this is our Tyler Davidson Fountain just celebrated its 150th anniversary this week and so dina and i said let's celebrate and let's go downtown let's go downtown and here we are yes <laughs> and i call it our fountain because this fountain was given to not the city of cincinnati but the people and we're the people we're the people yeah. and if you're a frequent listener to our program you know how much we love our city, right? Um, so a big piece of our platform for our program is that we like to feature small businesses around town. And today we are focusing on our town in our city of downtown Cincinnati. And that's what we're enjoying today. We're yes. here on the square, we're out in the sun. It's a gorgeous it's day. It's a gorgeous day. There are lots of people around us, which you'll probably see in the background here, here. And of course there's construction going on behind us too. <laughs> which you so. will see and hear. <laughs> exactly, all of those fun things. So it's a beautiful day here from the heart of the Queen City. And speaking of Queen City, Chris, do you know uh, where that reference came from? You know what? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if any of you know. Somebody probably does. I don't. I know that it had something to do with um, the emergence of like our culture and our arts, and it goes as far back as like 1819. Yeah, exactly. 1819 is where I guess the earliest references came from. Although it was probably um, conversed about or talked about, you know, on the streets amongst um, the people that lived in the city. The earliest reference actually on paper is 1819. It had to do with the emerging culture, like you said, in the arts of the city. And it dates back to a publication of the Inquisitor, which was a predecessor of the Inquirer. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So that, that came um, uh, on uh, May the 4th of 1819 by a gentleman um, named Ed B. Cook, who wrote the following. I quote, the city is indeed justly styled the fair queen city of the west distinguished for order enterprise public spirit and liberty she stands the wonder of an admiring world oh i love Pretty that cool. and and isn't our city just that you know it's such a vibrant city with so many different areas that i personally love to explore um, some of my favorites are the finley market area yeah. in over the rhine the banks of course main street with all those restaurants and shops um washington park which yeah. is another we'll have to go there soon yeah. another just totally happening place and we'd love to know what some of your favorite parts of the city are and why and you can send that to us at dina and chris real talk at gmail.com yeah we'd love to know what your experiences are within the city as well whether you're a native Cincinnatian or whether you're new to the city mm -hmm. uh, let us know what your favorite places are um, and all that um, being said Fountain Square where we are today is the focal point and has been since uh, eight, late 1800s 1871 uh, I know, Chris, you did a little bit of research on some I, facts, fun facts. I know you're my fun I, fact girl. I, I love, 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 love the fun facts, so right? Knowing of, that little nugget little, of information. Exactly. What, what so nuggets did you uncover? This is or was, and there was an Indian mound that stood here. Um, and then right here, right here on the square, on the square. <laughs> OK, and you know, along the time as the city was developing, this actually became an area for a butcher shop or I should say butcher shops because there were actually stalls that were butcher shops that um, inhabited and, and put themselves in this area. And that's interesting. It, it was. And that changed when we got the gift of the Tyler Davidson Fountain behind us and hence why it became Fountain Square and named Fountain Square. Fountain Square, which is funny. What you you mentioned butcher shops and that made me think of poor Popolis. I guess that's what we were all about at one time too, and right? We like our pork. <laughs> we like our pork. Like pork. And then, okay, so Tyler Davidson, um, 
the Tyler Davidson Fountain. Do we know who Tyler Davidson is? We do. You know, <laughs> he was a well-known, prominent Cincinnati businessman. Okay. And after he died, his brother-in-law and business partner, Henry Probasco, he actually went over to Munich, Germany, mm -hmm. and he was searching for a Ooh, suitable There's a Probasco memorial. in Clifton, isn't there? I the think street. so. Yeah. There's a street named that. <laughs> and so, obviously, right, well-known in our city. Yep. So, he wanted a memorial, and he went to Munich, Germany, in search of an artist, and he found one to design the fountain. It's a long history. There's a lot of story to it. For all of you history buffs, I encourage you, and even if you're not a history buff, go yeah. ahead and look for the information. But ultimately, on October 6, 1871, they dedicated the fountain to the people of Cincinnati. That's a pretty cool history. And yeah, I'm going to have to pick up some sort of information somewhere, yeah. or Google it, and maybe get a little bit more of the insight yeah. onto Tyler Davidson. It's funny because, you know, it's the anniversary. We know the fountains here, but I don't know that I ever knew who Tyler Davidson was. I know. <laughs> so I, thanks, know. I know the history of the fountain. Thanks, so, yeah, I need to do more on yeah. it. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And, and so, obviously, if you are on YouTube, you see that there are renovations going on today um, here in Fountain Square. And over time, there have been so many different renovations, um, not just to the fountain itself, but also the location of the fountain. And I don't know if you knew this, but originally the fountain faced east. Well, look at you. Yes. Yes. Towards Europe, actually. Venus fun facts. Yeah, fun facts. So, so it faced east towards Europe because that's where most of the Cincinnati population originated. And then later in the 1960s, um, during one of the rev uh, renovations, they moved it to face the west because the Cincinnati was and it's the not city west of now. the west. No, it's not west now. <laughs> and if you can see it behind us, I don't know if you can tell, but it actually now faces the south. Yeah, so it's faced every direction except the north. Um, so now it faces south. It faces um, our um, our riverfront yeah. area. Yeah, so fascinating. Yeah, yeah. so fascinating. Yeah. Love it. But enough of the history, right? Let's talk about today and here and now and what's happening. So in this just very very small area, you know, we've got a lot of businesses. We've mm -hmm. got the hotels, mm -hmm. restaurant, bars, and of course shopping and people and people. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, um, we all know, or most of you know, I didn't grow up here in Cincinnati, but Dina, I know when we first talked about coming downtown, you were like, oh my gosh, I have these memories yeah. of Fountain Square. So, I, I mean, share. Thanks for putting me on the spot. <laughs> what I do. <laughs> Um, gosh, my earliest memories of downtown and Fountain Square, you know, when I, I look around, I'm looking around here today, and I don't know if you can see any in the background again, but I see pigeons, right? They're, yeah, and they're yeah, still very here. Friendly. And it's funny because I wonder what continues to draw the pigeons back into this spot, but that, that is my very, very earliest as a, I don't know, maybe four-year-old, five-year-old child coming down to Cincinnati, feeding pigeons on the really? square. And running and chasing pigeons all yep. over the square. Oh my gosh, and there's children right and here running and, right and chasing here, the pigeons. You can't see chasing the pigeons. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so awesome. And I don't know what keeps coming back, but yeah. it's interesting. Right? That's, what a fun, fun memory. They haven't left Fountain Square. <laughs> yes. <laughs> same, same pigeons. Because exactly. it was yesterday. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and that's so that's a memory of yesteryear. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, I hear the pigeons now. <laughs> yeah, I, I did too. Um, you know, people have such fond memories. Um, but here and now, there's activities that go on on an ongoing basis right yeah. here in the square. Um, some of the fun ones, like on Tuesday nights, they have something called Fountain Feud. Oh my gosh. So, Family Feud is one of my favorite. Um, who Game doesn't shows. love family feud, I know, right? And so here we have Fountain Feud right here on the square. Oh my God, we should do that. I know. <laughs> we should. We can get five people. You know, That's they so do have fun. like trivia nights and yeah. pop-up concerts. Um, during the week, there are different companies and businesses that sponsored food trucks. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage people to come down here right. and have lunch and um, kind of like our living room. Come have lunch in our exactly. living room. Exactly. I mean, we all are familiar probably with the annual events like Oktoberfest and mm -hmm. things like that that go on in the city. But just on a daily basis, like Chris said, there are these fun, you know, every day of the week types of activities that yes. are available and bring people down into the city. Yeah. And then, of course, as we're coming up on the holiday season here, this whole area behind us is going to transform into an ice skating rink 
and holiday um, decor. Yeah, all the holiday decor, the lighting of the Christmas tree, um, and all the fun holiday stuff that goes on down here. If we had Wonka Vision, yeah. you would be able to enjoy Wonka the Vision. smells of everybody's lunches that Ooh, are right around us. And so, I as I sit here and I look around, I can see these restaurants that are like a stone's throw. Mm -hmm. um, smells whether good. Whether it be Via Vida, which is just here to yep. my left. Yep. We've got Morton's behind me, McCormick and Schmidt's. Um, you know, I've seen people with pot belly bags and Chipotle. Chipotle bags. And so a lot of good eating around here. And as one of our Cincinnati favorites for dessert, for everybody's dessert, we've got graders to Dina's right. To, yes, we might have to take uh, uh, get some of that stuff. on our way out. Yep. Always a, a reward for us. Yeah, absolutely. For, for being down here. Sounds good. So lots of great um, restaurants, also lots of great shops. Yes. So yeah. there's some unique um, small business boutiques down here. Kismet on Vine Street is one of those. Um, the Unheard Of, which I think is a cool I name. I love that name. Yeah, so for anybody that doesn't know, it's a footwear shop. Um, there's Native One, um, just to name a few of these, and that is a clothing, home goods store, kind of all kinds of um, fun finds there. And so a lot of these are, are newer stores that, you know, come into our city, but there's also a a lot of um, original mm -hmm. stores. Uh, we talk about the history of Cincinnati and Bat Sacks Hat Shop. Um, I don't know uh, how many people are familiar with that, but if you're from Cincinnati, you know Bat Sacks, and it's been around since 1907. Wow, over a hundred years. Over a hundred years, and they sell everything from fancy fedoras to baseball caps mm -hmm. these days. And it's still a family-run business. Can you believe that? And it, well, it just makes sense, right? It's That's awesome. They, they, there's a. It's yeah. Expression that's so Cincinnati. Yes. That is so Cincinnati. Exactly. So come down yeah. and support all these local small business owners. Yeah. And so that's just right around this general area, but also throughout the Cincinnati mm -hmm. area. Um, we know one of my favorite places to go is over the Rhine. Yes. Um, my husband and I do our, our grocery shopping. You're there once a week at least. We try. Yeah. We try yeah. to go yeah. every Saturday. Um, by far, the meat markets, the farmers markets, the meat markets mm -hmm. down there. Um, the chicken from Neil Lukens. I just can't even tolerate other chicken at this point. Awesome. Um, so we go down every week and then the bonuses are there's a great restaurants and bars yeah. or even just right there at Finley Market, there's a bar where we can sit and watch the people and listen to music. People watching um, is good. Right while we do our grocery shopping. You can buy your produce, you can buy yeah. your flowers, you can buy your meat. <laughs> oh, all of you it. You can buy it all. And I do. <laughs> that's awesome. And you know, and it is one of the things that's super cool too is that it's a really walkable city. So right. we're here on the square. We can just walk north and hit the OTR area. Or, you know, you can take the streetcar. You right. can take the yeah. streetcar. You can go all the way from the banks into OTR or anywhere around. You can travel by bike, Segway, um, or like I said, just put your walking shoes on and and go and go exactly. love it love exactly. it yeah and, and you know so we've been chatting about cincinnati as a great place to come down and visit obviously a great place to work but it's also a great place to live mm -hmm. and i think we're seeing many many more people coming down and exploring that downtown living mm -hmm. um i've got several friends who have done it right they've sold their yeah. house um up in the mason burbs or the yeah. northern burbs yeah and i just had a client do that this summer sold in the mason burbs and, and came they, down here everyone i've talked yeah. to they just love it and you know so in our cincinnati mls they define the city as we are looking for houses really from about east mcmicken um liber you know liberty but liberty east Township. mcmicken mm -hmm. south, liberty, not liberty Township. <laughs> liberty that's a little Street. different that's a little further but a little north. north of there so like east mcmicken <laughs> south to the river and then really from about lynn street um, all the way over to 71 mm -hmm. on the east side. So mm -hmm. when we, we're talking about that market, that's really where we're talking. Mm -hmm. And that there is City a living. lot that you can find here, whether it be a rental or whether it be for purchase. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, most of what you're gonna find are, are condominium type of um, living. Mm -hmm. There's some row house apartments, type of living, yeah. apartments, of course. Some um, detached. Yeah, some are detached, some are, you know, row house attached type of, of homes. And, you know, when we say condominiums, it can be anywhere from, you know, a four unit building to, you hundreds. know, hundreds. hundreds. Yeah. yeah, hundreds, exactly, high rise. So uh, just a super variety of different types, yes. different 
types of living arrangement. Not the place. If yeah. you if you want a three thousand square foot ranch on five acres, you will not no, find it no, here out of city. city. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can take you up to like I said, Liberty right. Town. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not going to find but it not here. Liberty. You, you are going to be um, closer to your neighbors, and and that's part of the draw. Yeah, that's part of the excitement yeah. of of city living. And there's our there are a lot of incentives to get people down here, mm -hmm. tax mm -hmm. abatements um, to to get people down here mm -hmm. into the city. You know, and if you're a, a LEED certified, um, if you have a LEED certified house, that will help with that tax abatement mm -hmm. exactly. too. And exactly. help protect our environment. So we see quite a bit of that when we look at our, our homes on the market here. Yeah. So what about the price range in housing? You know, I love the price range here because I love when um, we can cater to everybody across the board. So, you know, currently on the market, I found that there's 80 homes. Okay. Um, and that was as of this morning, 80 homes that are active and they are going to range in price from 125,000 to 1.6 million. So again, crossing, I think about uh, the average is in that 300 range. Um, so giving you a, a good diverse price and range. And that's what's active right now. So you've got even a bigger gamut of pricing, but that, I mean, that yeah. in and of itself yeah. is a pretty big spread and, and there. And looking at our pendings that are sold, we yeah. see an even bigger market. Yeah, so the pendings right now range from the $60,000 market to 1.2 million. Um, so that's what's currently pending. And there are 41 of them okay. that are pending okay. right now. So that's a nice number. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so homes are, are going under contract mm -hmm. and they're really being sold and closed. So yeah. in the past six months, there have been 282 homes that have closed um, in that Cincinnati region. And so that uh, price range span is 40,000 to 1.9 million. So again, it's something here for, for everybody, every price right? range. Yeah. Um, yeah, whether you're looking to, for, for something to renovate yourself mm -hmm. and, and put your own um, stamp of it on you. <gasps> yes, you know? because, yeah. did I tell you? <laughs> I'm like, what did you see? Because <laughs> there, I was reading recently, there was a renovation going on yeah. and the people doing the renovations or the company doing the reservation, the renovations, they took the front off of a building. Oh. So, you know, it was just a facade right. and it was overlaying the most beautiful oh front. Isn't that unbelievable? Building front. And I just, it makes me think of when people put carpet over yeah. their, over their floors, floors, right? And you're like, <gasps> somebody covered up this just beautiful yeah. building. Yeah. And so now what a hidden it's, gem. it's been uncovered yeah. and, and it's true original beauty is just shining through. That's so cool. It's yeah. so cool to see that happen where you're mixing the old with the, the conveniences oh, yeah. of the modern and the we new We want living, a kitchen. Right? We like yeah. running water. Yeah. Those things are important. Um, but you get that, 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 char <laughs> that character with that, yeah. with that high end. Yeah. Um, amenities that so people there's, like. Yeah, there's something for everybody down here and we'd be happy to help with that. Yeah, so whether, you know, we want everybody to come down and enjoy our city, whether it's for a special event or just like us today, just uh, coming down to experience it. Um, if you have an interest in exploring the housing opportunities here, Dina and I would love to help you do that. Um, you can reach out to us, Dina and Chris Real Talk at gmail.com. Yeah, we'd be happy to help you with um, those housing needs. Um, so please reach out to us, contact us, let us know. But yeah, above and beyond that, just come on out and enjoy a fun day um, visiting your local shops, restaurants, bars, uh, entertainment venues. Come on down to the city. This is all for House and Home Chat, Real Estate Real Talk with Dina and Chris. Thanks for joining us today. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.